Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a great little one for you today. We've got an animated title up there. Every time it turns around there, the title's going to change to a different title, another title. Your title goes here. And a different title here. That's a great little feature to have on your site. Again, because it's animated, it's going to get people's attention really quickly. Got to do a little bit of coding for this, but as usual, I'll put any code I write down below the video. You're welcome to use it. I've got my Visual Builder enabled already. Let's go down and we'll delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I've got a section up at the top there, a little blue tab. Let's add a new row. In my row, I'm just going to use a single column. I'm actually going to use a slider for this today so we can re revolve around the titles. Go down here. Here's a slider. I'm going to get rid of my second slide there. We've just got the one slide. I'm going to go into that one slide. Here's the title. That's where I'm going to leave it. Don't want any button on mine. Obviously, if you do on yours, you can just leave it there. And I don't want any content. I really just want that title. Great. Let's style that title up a little bit by going over design. Here's the title text. I'm going to leave mine on the default font. There's a huge amount of fonts to choose from with Divi. To choose one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. But like I say, I'm going to use the default for mine today. I'm going to make mine bold. I want to capitalize. Yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. What we got there? 46. Let's make it 55, perhaps. Great. Okay, so I've got my first slide going on there. If I save here, we'll go back to the main slide settings. Now I've got it how I want it. I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times, and you can duplicate this as many times as you want. Second one, we'll just change that title. And we'll save that. We'll go into our third one and we'll change the title there also. And let's animate these so they go from one to the other. So let's save the changes here. Make sure you're back in the main slider settings here where you're not going to find animation. Go to design. Right at the bottom, you'll find animation. And you'll find automatic animation in there. Let's turn this on. I'm going to make mine say four seconds, 4,000 milliseconds. I'm going to leave that to off. That way, when they put their mouse on it, it'll stop. In fact, let's turn that on to on. I don't want it to. I've got no links, so I don't want, want it to stop when the mouse is on it. So I'll turn that to on. And as you can see, it's sort of sliding up, fading in. But I really don't want any animation on my slider at all. So let's go over to advanced. I'm going to go down to the custom CSS here. I'm going to roll down the slide description. In there, I'm going to say animation. Dash name. I'm going to say none. As you can see, it stopped animating now and it's just going from one to another one, which is fantastic. Great, well, let's create the little animation now. That's going to make it revolve round. And we know it's changing every four seconds. So we can save our slider second settings here. And if I just go back to the animation, this question comes up all the time. If I go back to the design tab down to animation, if you go down design and can't find animation down there, chances are you're in one of your slides. Because if you were in one of your slides, go to design, there's no animation at the bottom. And I always have that question come up. I can't find animation. My slider has not got animation. I'm sure it does. It's just in the main slider settings, not in the slide settings. So once you save, go back to slider settings, design, you'll find it down at the bottom there. Great. Well, let's write us a little bit of code. I'm going to add another little code module just below here. It really doesn't matter where you put it. it doesn't take up much real estate. I'm going to go down. I'll put a little code module in there. 
Now, the only bit I can't put down below, as usual, are the style tags. But style tags, if you're using a code module, just left pointing bracket, word style, and right pointing bracket. Once you put the right pointing bracket in, it'll put the closing tag in, and you can put your code in between. If you're using the additional CSS panel or a custom CSS panel, you don't need the style tags. Only need them if you're using a code module. Okay. Well, let's give it a class name. I'm going to call it rotating T. All class names have a dot or a period in front of them. Rotating dash T. Then we can open and close some curly brackets. Inside those curly brackets, we can tell it what we want it to do. Well, I'm creating an animation here. If I can say animation, then we'll give the animation a name. I want to call it rotate T. Capital T. Now we know that's going around every four seconds. So I'm going to make mine four seconds to rotate it also. So it should change as it goes around or each time it goes around. So I'm going to say four seconds for the duration of it. I want it to be in a line. So I'm going to say linear. So it rotates at the same speed all the way around. And I want it to keep going. So I'm going to say infinite. If anybody just wants to copy and paste, this code is below the video. Okay. We've got that in there. Now let's actually create the animation we've called Rotate T. We're using keyframes for this today. So I'm going to say at keyframes. We've got to give it that name, which is Rotate Capital T. Then we can open and close some more curly brackets and actually create the rotation that we want. So 0% basically when this page loads, let's put 0 and a percent sign. We'll open and close some more curly brackets. Inside, we can tell it what we want it to do. Well, I want it to transform, rotate around the X axis. So I'm going to say transform, colon, rotate. Right at the end of rotate with no gap, because I want it on the X axis. I'm going to put a capital X with no gap there, rotate X. And initially, I want it to rotate by nothing. So after the X with no gap, we'll put some round brackets inside there. I'm going to say zero degrees because I want it to start off the right way around zero degrees. Great. Well, that's our first one done. Just pop a little semicolon on the end there. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it a couple of times below. Make sure you don't copy that last bracket that's encapsulating all of our code there from the keyframes. So we'll just go down from that first one. That's going to be 25, 50, 75. So I'm going to change the second one to 25. Third one to 50. And the fourth one, 75%. Then I'm going to go 90 degrees. So it'll start to twist. 180 degrees. So it'll be halfway around, halfway through. And at 75%, it's going to be back to zero again. So there's a little bit of a pause. You, you can read it from 75 to 100%. It won't be going around. All right. Well, why hasn't it started? The reason it hasn't started is because we haven't given it that class name yet. So I'm going to copy the class name without the dot or the period. Rotate dash T. Control C to copy. Let's go into it now, into our slider. And we can give the whole thing that class name. Over to advanced, CSS IDs and classes, make sure you put it in class and not period. Once I put it in there, it should start rotating. And there we have it. Every time it goes around, it's changing that title. I don't want the actual pagination buttons there. So let's go while we're here into the content elements. I'm going to turn the arrows and the pagination, which are the controls off so we don't see them. Great. Well, let's save our changes now and see what this looks like on the front end. I'm going to hit the little purple button, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. We've got our rotating title. Each time it goes around, it's going to change out for the next one. And the next one. Then back to the first one. Obviously, you can put in as many or as few titles as you want in there. 
But that's a great little thing to get your headlines noticed. People are going to notice that going round and round. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a rotating title that changes every time it goes round. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.